in a certain country 10 digit telephone numbers with the following format we introduce uh, we have the area code with three digits and an example the exchange code with three digits and an example the number with four digits and an example and then 10.1 says how many possible 10 digit telephone numbers could be formed uh, we are also told that the digits may be repeated so we have 10 digits so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so for the first digit we have 10 digits in math right from zero to nine for the first digit of the cell phone number we are picking a number from zero to nine so we have 10 possible options and then for the second digit of the telephone number we are also picking from zero to nine so we also have 10 for the third digits we're picking from 10 numbers and so on until uh, the last digit essentially right so we have 10 to the power 10 so it's 10 multiplied by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 for 10 digits so that's basically just 10 to the power of 10 so the number of possible 10 digit telephone numbers that can be formed is 10 to the power of 10 if the digits may be repeated if the digits were not repeated what were we gonna have we were gonna have 10 factorial but anyway story for another day let's carry on 10.2 says certain restrictions were placed on the groups of digits and then for the area code it must be three digits and the first digit cannot be zero or one for the exchange code uh, it must be three digits and the first and second digits cannot be zero or one okay and then for number for the number uh, we must have four digits and the first digit must be zero or one how many valid 10 digit telephone numbers could be formed by applying the given restrictions so we have the area code with three digits right and then we have the exchange code with three digits and then we have the number with four digits so for the area code um, the first digit cannot be zero or one right so we are choosing from only eight numbers because it cannot be zero or one so we're gonna have eight possible numbers on the first position of the area code and then on the second digit we don't have any restriction right so it can be 10 uh, possible numbers and then on the third digit we can also have 10 possible numbers there and then for the exchange code uh, we are told that it must be three digits and the first and second digits cannot be zero or one so for the first and second digits we're choosing from only eight possible numbers right because it cannot be zero or one so we're choosing from two to nine eight possible numbers so we're gonna have eight possible numbers for the first digit eight possible numbers from the second digits and then in the last digit we don't have any restriction specified so we're choosing from 10 possible numbers and then uh, the last four digits right i see that the first digit must be a zero or one so for the first digit we're choosing from zero or one so we can have two possible numbers on the first digit and everything else we don't have a restriction so we're going to be choosing from 10 numbers from 10 numbers from 10 numbers so the number of possible 10 digit telephone numbers if these restrictions are applied will be 8 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 and then multiplied by 10 again right and then if you put this in your calculator you're gonna get uh one comma zero two four times ten to the power of nine possible telephone numbers and then ten point two point two says determine the probability that any randomly chosen ten digit telephone number will be a valid phone number any randomly chosen 
10 digit telephone number will be a valid phone number so we need for valid phone numbers divided by any possible 10 digits right valid phone numbers divided by any possible 10 digits so the number of possible 10 digits is 10 to the power of 10 which is what we calculated in 10.1 but then of those 10 to the power of 10 the ones that are valid right are only 1.024 times 10 to the power of 9 which is what we calculated in 10.21 so we're gonna have 1.024 times 10 to the power of 9 divided by 10 to the power of 10 so basically 10 to the power of 10 is our simple space right and then 1.024 times 10 to the power of 9 is basically the likelihood of our event occurring so that will be equals to uh, 64 divided by 625 which is 0 0.1024 so that's the probability that if you just pick a 10 digit number in random it will be a telephone number